as I'm sure many of you may be recognizing, the seasons <clears throat> are starting to change. I was outside walking my dog this afternoon and I could just tell by the sounds and just the way it was feeling that, that spring is upon us. So we'll soon be transitioning from this winter season into spring. And that makes tonight's theme, which is planting seeds, very appropriate. During the winter, the daylight is shorter and it's typically colder outside. And we often find ourselves home more frequently. I know especially this winter, many of us were home much more frequently. And this is what makes winter such a wonderful time to slow down, to take time to look within ourselves, to do some introspection and to really see what's going on within us. When the spring comes, the days continue to get longer, something I'm also noticing, maybe you are as well. The sun is shining much longer during the days and the weather also continues to become warmer. And with that, we often find ourselves outside more frequently and we're typically a little bit more sociable. And this shift in nature and this shift in our behavior makes spring such a perfect time for rebirth and renewal. It's a fantastic time for personal growth and for new beginnings. It's truly an ideal time to plant seeds and to begin to put in action changes that we might wanna, that we might wanna make, or it might be a perfect time to allow parts of ourselves that may have gone dormant in the winter to come back to life once again. So we can be intentional about what it is that we plant and cultivate and harvest in our own lives, whether that's peace, joy, stillness, adventure, calm. We are able to choose what we plant and what we grow. And mindfulness really gives us the awareness to do this. With this awareness, we have an ability to see what might need some tending to in our life, what might need some cultivating. And once we have planted our seeds, whatever they may be, we can then water these seeds very carefully and carefully tend to them and then beautifully watch them grow. And the seeds in our garden that we tend to and that we water and that we give our love and care are the ones that grow the best. And I think this is beautiful because we're all gardeners in this respect. We are the gardeners of our own lives. And so tonight we'll take some time to explore what we hope for ourselves in this new season, this spring that's upon us. And then we'll work on planting some seeds, which will put us on the path of personal growth, rebirth, and renewal. So I'd like to just read this quote before we move into the formal practice this evening. And it's a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. The creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. And so with that, I invite you to settle into your seat, maybe allowing the eyes to close or softening the gaze if that feels right. Taking any last movements you may need before finding some stillness or settling in the body. And then noticing the feet making contact with the floor, sensing into this contact, perhaps feeling rooted or connected with the earth beneath the feet, this earth that's transitioning from winter into spring. And now tuning into the sits bones on the seat, noticing the contact that the sits bones are making with the seat beneath you. Perhaps feeling supported or held by the seat in some way. And then maybe finding a little extra length in the spine reaching through the crown of the head. Perhaps inviting a softening of the forehead. Maybe inviting a slackening of the jaw if that feels right. Just continuing to settle into your seat. 
And as you continue to settle into your seat, perhaps you become aware of the fact that the body is breathing. And now gently resting the awareness on the breath in the body. Noticing one breath in and one breath out. Another breath in and another breath out. And continuing to follow the breath in this way. Just staying with each breath, breath by breath and moment by moment. Just staying with the ebb and the flow of the breath cycle. following the natural rhythm of the breath. And at some point, the mind will wander away because that's just what our minds do. And as you notice the mind has drifted, just gently coming back to the breath in the body once again. Our tried and true companion, the breath. Just continuing to follow the natural waves of the breath cycle. Staying with the breath as best you can. And now taking a moment to reflect on what it is you hope this spring will bring. What do you hope this spring will bring? What do you want to be growing in your own garden?
what would you like to plant, cultivate and harvest in your own life? And just taking some time to sit with these questions, to be with these questions. And just seeing what it is that comes to mind. And maybe there's one thing in particular that comes to mind, or maybe there are many things that come to mind. Perhaps you would like more adventure, joy, peace, fun, laughter. And based on what it is that comes to mind or what's come to mind for you, determining what seeds you would like to plant. What would you like to plant in the garden that is you? The garden of your life. Perhaps it's seeds of hope, strength, compassion, self-compassion, determination, creativity. So just determining what seeds you would like to plant in your garden. And once you've determined the seeds that you'd like to plant, planting as many seeds as you wish. So planting them now and planting as many seeds as you wish. really taking the time to plant these seeds with an open, kind heart and intentionality. And now reflecting on how you will water these seeds throughout the rest of your day today. What might you do to water these seeds that you planted? And how might you water these seeds throughout the week? How might you water these seeds throughout this spring season? 
And so for instance, if you planted seeds of self-compassion, perhaps offering yourself kind words in the morning when you awake, or if you planted seeds of peace, maybe taking a mindful moment each evening before bed, or if you planted seeds of fun, perhaps scheduling a game night with your partner each week. So just taking some time now to reflect on how you might water the seeds that you've planted in your own garden. And now offering loving kindness to the seeds that you planted. Perhaps offering these seeds a ray of warmth and sunshine from your very own heart. Just as plants need water, they also need sun. They need the warmth of the sun. And just as the sun warms the earth, offering your own warmth, your own internal sunshine to the seeds that you have planted. And now envisioning these seeds sprouting, growing, thriving. What do these seeds look like as they are sprouting? How are they growing? What is contributing to their growth? What is allowing them to flourish, to thrive? And now just gently coming back to the breath in the body once again. Returning to the gentle breath in the body. And following the breath cycle once more. This rise and fall of the breath with each inhalation and each exhalation.
following each breath all the way to the end. Just staying with the breath as best you can. And I'm going to read a poem by Carrie Fantelli known as the garden of your mind. What are you growing in the garden of your mind? What do you water, nourish, feed? Do you plant seeds of forgiveness, of love? Or do you fertilize weeds of anger, resentment, fear? What are you growing in the garden of your heart? Do you allow sunshine in the corners of your heart? Do you allow water to nourish it? Decide what it is you want in your soil. Know what you are cultivating. Know what you are growing. A lot can grow in the garden of your body. Seed it, nourish it, allow it, watch it grow. And in a moment, I'll be ringing the bell to conclude this formal portion of our meditation practice this evening. And as I do, just seeing if it's possible to allow the sound to enter your ears and be a part of the practice itself. And just gently beginning to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Gently allowing the eyes to open if they have been closed. And I just want to thank you so much for joining us today.